Welcome to our channel, today we're going to talk about the expectations for the fourth quarter earnings season, and how investors are bracing themselves for disappointment. The fourth quarter earnings season begins in earnest this Friday, with big banks reporting results, and investors are bracing themselves for disappointment. This is after they were greeted Monday by a handful of retailers offering cautious outlooks. The forecasts are grim, S&P 500 companies may report the first decline in earnings since the third quarter of 2020, with an estimated drop of 4.1% in Q4, according to FactSet. Analysts have cut their projections by 6.5% since September 30, more than 1.5 times the average decrease over the past 20 years. Miller Tabak chief market strategist Matt Maley says that I think we have to be more realistic, and that the Fed started raising interest rates and we are starting to feel the impact of that in the economy. At some point soon, I think people are going to come to the full realization that the earnings are going to have to come down. These downgrades flow from the expectations for a slowdown in economic growth. Whether the US economy tips into a recession or not, consumer and business spending is already slowing and being reflected in data as varied as the ISM Services Index in December those aforementioned retail warnings, and big tech job cuts. In tech, analysts have been relatively aggressive with their earnings growth downgrades, cutting estimates for information technology by 9.5% in the past three months and by 11.5% for communication services, a group that includes Alphabet, Meta, Disney, and Netflix. The materials sector has actually been hit hardest, with analysts slashing estimates for these companies by more than 18% during the quarter. The question is what effect all of this earnings weakness will have on stock prices, and whether strategists are getting right not just the direction, but also the magnitude of expected profit declines. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and leave a comment with your thoughts on the fourth quarter earnings season. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more financial news and updates.